Hey everyone, this is Parker from Animoplex.com and today I'm going to show you a quick inertial bounce expression to add a little extra life to your animations. So basically, this expression takes two keyframe values and evaluates the velocity of value change and then adds a nice bounce effect on the tail end. So let's jump right in. Uh, first thing you want to grab the expression from the description. I've already got it copied to my clipboard. And then uh, you need a property to effect. So in this case, I'm going to do scale. I'm going to go 0 to 100. And uh, it's going to be across 5 frames. So it's going to be a pretty quick move. And if I alt click or option click on a Mac, the scale property, it's going to open up my expression window. And I'm going to paste the expression. So basically, this expression is evaluating the value change between these two keyframes and then continues that animation at the same speed. Uh, and decays over time to give you a nice bounce effect here. Now you can also apply this to position. So if I take this expression off scale and remove the keyframes, open up position, and if I add a position keyframe here and then take it off screen and alt click or option click on a Mac and paste the same expression here, it's going to now evaluate the position instead of scale. So you still get that same movement. And that's actually all there is to it. So I'm going to go over the variables really quick and then feel free to use this in a project. Now the three variables here are amp for amplitude, frequency, and decay. Now amp is the intensity of bounce. So by changing this value to a higher number, you're going to get a much larger movement. Now frequency is bounces per second. So if you bring this number up, it's going to give you a lot more movement than the default values. Now decay is the speed in which the animation completes. So a lower number means it's going to go for longer, while a larger number means it's going to finish very quickly. Now this expression I got from Harry Frank at Gray Machine, who got it from MoGraph.net, who took it from Dan Eberts. So it's a lot of uh, building on top of each other. I modified this expression for a smoother bounce effect and easier editing. So all these are on one line and they're pretty easy to edit. I hope this expression is useful for you for a project. Go ahead and send me anything you're working on that you've used this for. I'd be more than happy to take a look. Please email support at animoplex.com for any questions you may have. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.